Hello everyone, this is Brian, and welcome back to Fallout New Vegas, You Only Live Once Hardcore Edition, the game where we never, ever heal. Now, last time we made our way through Scorpion Gulch, taking Veronica home almost, and then we went and did crazy, crazy, crazy up at the top of the crazy black mountain, and we remained at 313 of 365. Today, we are going to finish taking Veronica home the other 10 feet into the bunker, and we are going to bring the, what do we, what is it that we have? We have Aww. the Fallout, the Brotherhood of Steel mission reports from all the various paladins that were pasted to the bottom of radioactive craters and bombardments and someone apparently got killed by robots up at the top of Repcon headquarters. So we are just going to check our little situation, make sure we can do a hundred point lockpick here, and in we go. Now, as we go into the bunker, uh, Veronica's going to get all excited about letting us in for free, oh, no. and that's that. fine. I'm going to let her help us in some ways, but I want to sneak up here and quickly take the experience points for this uh, very hard lock before it comes open. I'd like a large atomic shake and a double Brahmin burger. So and she can get a double Brahmin burger. We gave you a password, Veronica. They can it's be not amused. We can go we in in a minute. After this thing. Blah, Opening up. Blah, 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 blah. Welcome back, a little bit of blather here at the start of the episode. Now we'll go in here and we will talk to the special guy. The special guy. Here he comes. Bum, bum. Oh, he's not here yet. I thought he was going to be right here, but he's actually just going to be right down here. Listen up. I'm in okay. charge of security around here. Paladin. And I can't say I'm too Ramos. happy about it. But since you came in with Veronica, I'm inclined to cut you a little. Oh. Okay, so we won't have to wear the explosive collar. That is the benefit of coming home with Veronica, so we don't have to do a bunch of extra kind of little busy work quests. Uh, so it would involve... Well, no, maybe it just involves killing scorpions, you know. Who knows? Maybe I should have done... The... But I always feel it's right to go home with Veronica, to take her home, as it were. So, here we go. The first thing we have to do is go talk to the head guy, to the main cheese, the elder, whoever the heck he is. Find out what he is he wants, and I bet he wants to know what happened to all of his uh, paladins. I'm sure it's not even remotely suspicious. Oh wait, we have to have a little conversation between Veronica and Elder McNamara. Hello, Veronica. How goes your mission? And I just discovered I to talk how to they you. make the sound Veronica, part voices. Tell me this is about... my accent. Yes, goddammit, it is. But you're going to hear me out this time. We've been through this. The things I've seen now, other groups succeeding where we fail, it's not too late for us. Without and I make them sound like sound part guys. We'll Who knew? These upstarts. Waiting in a hole for everyone else to die. If we must. This is a dead end for us. I see no uh, evidence of that. Oh my god, even at high speed, could you just problems. please stop? Thank you. You're too talking to each other anymore. Let's go. We're wasting our time. Okay. Oh my goodness. When Paladin right. Ramos we have and Elder McNamara and now we After giving the matter some thought, however, I just blah, However, blah, I will not. Blah, blah, what do you say? Blah, 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 blah. Oh my god. Then allow me to explain our By the way, I have your three case, reports three actually in order to maintain um, the peace and it's right here. And I'm sure that's not suspicious at all. No, no. Uh, I suppose three I am not teams are dead and I just happen to have all the recorders not even. When I sent out those patrols, I also sent three at when all. the patrols failed to return, right. we so assumed now, the worst and sent a single he communication. Wants us to do the I want to do the part of the quest, and that them, is called fixing all the weird air systems in the bunker and other things. So you think of Mr. blah 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 blah. Thank you. All right. So apparently I have to. See, I have to talk to her too, but I apparently have to do it like Plus, over here, not over there. So now we learn she about her. This is, so we've activated her special next stage of her quest. So we have to go bring him proof that it's all wrong to be locked in the bunker, and we'll go help her do that because there's some shack we can go to that has a detail. Father Elijah, we might meet him later uh, if we should so, be so lucky. you're the outsider that's been given leave to wander around freely. He's a jerk, though. Father, Father Name's Harden. Elijah. I don't know now what the... Now he's a jerk. All right. Oh, if you change you're your... speaking of jerks. 
Um, here's a guy who wants to take over from the other elder and beat the elder, but we're going to turn him down because uh, if I go that route, then I can't complete Veronica's quest without having to fight a bunch of paladins. Totally not interested in doing that ever. Don't ever want to fight this bunch of paladins. So, we have a little bit of useful busy work to conduct here in the Brotherhood of Steel Bunker and to do that we would like to go back here to their the little special the store plus rifle range all in one room. Oh. So what do you got for sale? Blah blah blah. If you and, must know. Oh by the way, she's missing a laser pistol. They have missed a laser pistol. Now to find a laser pistol, first we have to go talk to this guy who if he's not here Welcome is sometimes like sleeping over in one of the rooms. Uh, but we can find out from him who used the laser pistol last, and then we can search Welcome all the over the bunker, 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 for the special guy that like he has told us about, because there's no little quest arrow, because this is a hidden quest, but that makes it just really irritating. Um, so, let's see, what do we got here? Blah, 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 blah. Yes, can I help Well, you? there he is. Okay, that was sometimes, sometimes it's easy, sometimes it's a real pain in the neck. So, yes, hi, uh, you took the laser pistol. Um, yep. And so, you. this out in Scorpion Gulch. Fine, I'll find the gun for you. Um, so, that's good. And speaking of you... Should have brought something. Uh, you, You're making me carry the heavy stuff, aren't you? You carry some of this stuff while we go out there. In case I find some more things I need to bring back. All right, so off we go to Scorpion Gulch, 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 Gulch. We, cause we were just oh, and there's the uh, there's the magic storm, yay storm, so we can use our special system. So if it was one to the left and northwest, it must be one to the right of southeast. And oh look, magically we found it. In we go. Of course, it hasn't respawned yet. That's one of the benefits of coming this way. And. Magically, since we were just here a minute ago killing all these scorpions, uh, someone came here and lost the laser pistol. So there it is. Now we can take it back. Whee! Back through the stuff which is also not respawned, and this time one to the left of the northwest. And we go directly through the storm to the exact right place, which is this way. Da -da -da. Over the river and through the woods, grandmother's house we go. Cha cha! And if you go this way, you get to, sure enough, pretty much right outside the correct bunker, right as you hit the fence line. And here we go. Dun 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 dun. Blah 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 blah. blah. Aw, just you're making back. me carry the heavy stuff, aren't you? Take our stuff. Oops. Maybe one fewer something just uh, didn't need to make a carrying things enough things problem, but I did. So we'll uncarry something. Uh, uh, paralysis. Get some I don't want to sell. There, take some more purified water. Yay. Okay. It's always the simple things, or the easy things have to be not simple or something, some kind of thing like that. All right, so now we're back to the nice lady. Have you found it? I'm yes, I found it. Got it right here. Oh, thank Thanks God. for the Since nice discount. Me? Plus, she'll what. sell me better stuff next time. I work on some time. of our busted weapons in my spare time, so I have a few pieces that are kept blah, here. Blah, blah, blah. Take... Thank you, nice lady. But now we can sell her awesome stuff. Bye. Yeah, by yourself. Hi there. Looking to spend. Now our we have our trading gear on. Okay. Blah 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 blah. Sell all these random things that we've picked up, plus the tribeam laser that she just gave us. I'm sure she won't recognize it. When we we gift it to her. Look through her stuff. Uh, nothing particularly needed Give yet. Someday she'll sell us an awesome suit of power armor, but not today. 
Okay, so we are about ready to haul out of here. You're making me carry the heavy stuff, aren't you? My stuff back. What do you need? You can give me back my food. Might as well take my water. Might as well even take my Chinese stealth armor, come to think of it, because I might want that, as long as I can manage to carry it. What's All up? Right. So you, we do not need yet. We do not need right now, because we need to go pick up while we're on this side of the world, um, we're going to be looping okay. around to talk then to I get the I'll reports be... from the people. I remember that's before the... There's so many stupid quests. Now we have to talk to all the, all the actual Brotherhood scouts that are still alive. So we found the ones from the dead ones. Now we find the ones for the alive ones. Then we go find the parts to fix the vault. And then we plant the radio transmitter. And then we get a suit of power armor. So next it is off to, um, to do those guys, uh, but I realize that I bet they have bathrooms in bunkers. Don't you think they would have a nice, oh yes, oh yes, is that a man or woman in that suit <laughs> power armor? Uh, that's a toilet. It's a toilet. I can't get to it. Toilet. Ah, toilet. I haven't seen a nice clean toilet in a while. That is just extra excellent. So meanwhile, we're going to go find the Live Scouts now. And the thing about the Live Scouts is looping around. They loop around back to some of our old places. So we're going to go out the, uh, the sort of prim and good spring side. And that means we can not only go pick up Edie where we had to dismiss him, her too, but we can also go pick up Cass at the Mojave Outpost so that we can then bring her around the loop and start working on her quest, etc., etc. So, you know, just kind of, if we're not fast traveling, do some stuff. We'll eventually go pick up Veronica back at the 188 and uh, finish her quest when we're ready to. Uh, but that will, we have a lot of busy work to do before we're ready for Veronica. So, having gotten back our Chinese stealth armor, since we seem to be able to carry it, we can always uh, make cast wear it or send it back with Edie if we need to, but we are just going to run out the uh, sort of southernish gate here, the way that one most commonly finds Hidden Valley for the first time. And I am sneaking here because every now and then a death claw wanders up here, and that is an awkward situation. Now here's one of these power ganger places. So I've got light steps. See, I can just walk right over their little charges. I just wanted to pick up the nine points for their um, for their uh, map point there. Meanwhile, the first of these what's its guys, Brotherhood guys, is actually sitting here watching the prison Hello? as if he's been watching the prison all along. Except I bet he actually what just spawned here when I started the quest. And blah blah blah. We're not going to try to funny. No, the bears well. are still hunting, or are they? Whatever. We give him Eventually, the code word. He tells us the stuff because we're not suspicious down. at all. But Eventually, and the NCR he got says a bunch of stuff about Give this to the how things, you know, aren't so well with the NCR because they couldn't uh, clean up their prison for a really long time until they eventually did, except he wasn't very impressed. So notice that there are, if you come on this side of the prison, there are a lot of these powder charges. So, you know, unless you know where to walk, you don't want to walk. A little red dot here. What? Oh, wild dot. Okay, wild dog, that is not all that complicated. How about we just varmint you up with a varmint rifle? And he is duty varmint it up. We got another one. Man. <laughs> That's a good thing they uh, got all sneaky and high level and stuff, because they could have just snuck right up on me. All right, so that is the end of that. We can now safely just run right back over here to good old Prim. Annoyingly, we have to run all the way around the fence, all the way over to the bridge and cross the bridge. No, 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 no. Uh, meanwhile, I remembered that I had forgotten to steal that guy's little thing, so I'll steal it now. Into the Nash residence we go, and there is Edie waiting for us. So Edie, you come hither. 
because we now, now Evie will at least the time will have passed and we can uh, go, I, I think I need to take uh, Edie to one of the places where the second log file, which I know, the one that I know about is in New Vegas itself. Now, long ago, we had a shipment. We shipped all of our crafting stuff a long way from Good Springs and shipped it here. Uh, and now we're here finally to pick it up and we're ready to ship it to Novak. So we'll forward it on. So we have to carry it all through the desert. And a lot of heavy stuff. Anything else we don't really, really, really need, like see the Chinese stealth armor. We will send onward. Oh, and I was wearing it, so now I need something else to wear. And so I guess that puts us back on either spacesuit or U.S. combat armor, depending on how scared I am on a particular day. All right, so we are good to go. And we might as well close off the last little loop of the story in the uh, casino. What are you doing here? This yeah, so is our now there's talk. these, uh, you know, a few days after you uh, make the town safe, then these guys take up deserting in the I casino, like the and with a little speech check, you can managed. drive them away, and then they'll go away, and that, yeah, you can fight them Fuck. if you don't have speech we 30, but, like, we heard, this is, we're just... you know, by the time you get back here, usually they have, it's, you've long since got speech 30, so we'll just... Uh, and we heard there may be some sweet talk them, and then a few days later, they'll actually the townspeople actually move back in here and actually run a casino again, no uh, which you can then actually me. exploit for a lot of caps if that is your thing. Uh, I just like to come here because I like to have the end of the you know I like I like when the story arcs uh, make make good progress. So let's see that almost finishes Prim up. back in here a minute. Let's see if he's got anything worth hey there. worth having and thinking about or whatever. Heard you brought the law back to we brought the law back to Prim, youngster. What's he got? Oh, he's got actual armor. He's got decent ammo for the varmint rifle. That's nice. Um a lad's life? I guess I'll take a lad's life. Uh, I got a lot of Patriots cookbooks. Probably got, still got eight or nine of them. <laughs> uh, so that's fine. Business? Didn't even bother to put my trading clothes on. It just wasn't. Didn't even seem worth it. Okay, so let's see. Gonna be looping around. Edie, you don't actually Companion protocol terminate. Return to base. Hers are a little more confusing. All right, so now we are off. Let me go this way. I think. The robot. That's Prim Slim keeping order in the town. Hey, he's shooting at somebody. Are there still convicts on the menu in this in this town? I bet he's been shooting at that convict a long time. They're probably occluded from each other by by three-dimensional occlusions of some sort. I bet I can help him hook a brother robot up here. Where is it? Did he die? Did he kill it? After all that time... Alright, fine. So, let's just go check all the mailboxes, because it might be free little... Nice magazines that we need. And up we go. Go the quick way down toward Mojave Outpost. Uh, so here is where... So sometimes, if you're not on good terms with the Powder Gangers, you get the, you'll pay for what you did to the Powder Gangers people, but I don't think we're getting them now. I think we're at truce with them. These must be... Yes, another, another set of jackal guys that come patrolling around here so let's just pop those off uh well didn't quite get <laughs> he 
Didn't quite get aimed in time. All right, so fine, 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 fine. We will just go get a better angle. There you go. Excellent. Guess he was carrying a 10 millimeter pistol there. <laughs> Got some more of them somewhere. They're like right behind. Uh... Where are they? They're, oh, they're, they're over there where he was because they're cautioning. That's, uh, hopefully they see his body, not me. Yes, that would be awkward. Okay. Yes, I think that is the case. So let us go deal with their little sorry convict whatevers. Here comes one. Come on. Use our nice sniper rifle. That's what we like. Turn your back, go hidden, and take one in the rear. One more. Hill. Here, convict, 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 convict. You're like right down in there. I don't want to like suddenly be face to face with a convict, even in my advanced high level state here. Um, from high ground is, of course, a good place to use long distance. Chunking weapons. How about that? Just back up behind the thing. Excellent. We'll never find out exactly where he was. <laughs> or maybe we will. Maybe there will be body parts shooting everywhere, but I believe that was a VAT kill animation, don't you? Don't you think? So, probably right behind this little rock. Yes, indeed. Plopped over. More yummy things to take. And I guess we might as well loot the bodies. Always good practice. Killing gang members. But we really are kind of back to the quote unquote easy end of the map. There are some little fringe areas where some bad things can happen, but this little main part of the world, if we stay on the road, is going to be pretty much low-level, guys. Uh, I'm not sure why they sent us all the way back. So we have to go back to Nipton uh, to pick up. Uh, near Nipton is where the other guy is. I guess it's part of the story. But, you know, you have to do this long, long thing back here when there's nothing, nothing very challenging. I suppose you could do this in some order if that made any sense. But, but we'll see. Just because I want a little extra challenge, I'm going to deviate from the road here a little bit. And because there is actually a skill book over here that I wouldn't mind getting. And I wouldn't mind killing a few rad scorpions to get it. As long as I can kill it without taking any damage. So let's just get a, get a sense where things are. We want to kill everything from hidden. And we do not wish to get up and close and personal with rad scorpions. Now... Full-size rad scorpions are actually armored, so that's why we are using armor-piercing ammo to crack their carapaces open. Let's get your carapace exoskeletal damage. That guy didn't crack quite as easy. He was a three-shot crack, but he cracked. Another regular size. He caution with me. He's cautioning. Kill one of somebody in a direction that isn't cautioning. I don't, I, mean, I don't want to get too far in and have somebody come around my flank here. Got them coming from all sides. Let's see if we can. Uh, he is. He's a small one, so he just needs varmint rifle. I guess we're just going to have to. Oh. He went sneak attack. So it's these guys that are cautioning down here on the other one. That's a small one. Stick your little poker up. Now there's another one. Plenty of scorpions where these guys come from. 
But take them out of distance. They're pretty safe. Small guys. I can... He's behind the thing. Just uh, gets too close. I'm just machine gun him. But he gets vomited in the face, as it were. Whatever, whatever facial equivalent he's got. Pick up some a lot of agave. But then if you go kind of over here, you can see there's a little unclaimed map point there. Go this way, we get to where the skill book is, but also where the slightly scarier scorpions are now. At this point, we're getting to where we can actually take, um, you know, we have reasonable, reasonably in the, uh, in the prime level for giant rat scorpions, but they're still quite dangerous and quite fast. So we're gonna, we're gonna stay back, take it slow, and maybe even take it explosively, especially if we get multiple bogeys. Multiple, that's just a regular guy. What do we got? We got over there. Oh, giant red scorpions! Oh, I love killing those. I like killing them with explosive ammo too. Boom! Oops, he went into multiple pieces. Ooh, and they are cautioning, so let's see. Yeah, nobody from the side. Uh, must be so, yeah, very, very careful. Okay, no, all oh, those guys. Oh, man. They came running from all directions. They were hiding in the wings, waiting for somebody to kill their one. Oh, look at that. That was a... That was at least two in one shot. That was... That was excellent. Okay. Let's just make sure we don't see any red dots. That could get awkward, but I think we are good to go on a little campground over here. So for some reason, the little marker for the campground is at the below part, but the skill book is in the upper part. But we'll go to all the places. We'll get all the goodness. Take all their yummy stingers. High value selling stingers. We just sold a huge load of stingers to the the bunker people. It was indeed three, three scorpions. Two in one shot. One in that first shot. We might have. Maybe they were, they were within explosion, explosion range that first time. And so then our second one took them out. Alright, but... Just to make sure I've, I've found a force <laughs> scorpion up here sometimes. We're going to take it slow and careful. And right there behind that toolbox is the magazine, or the, not the, the Wasteland Survival Guide, the skill book. And that will take our survival up, another, another thingy poo of survivalhood, and there are four. And we'll clean out anything that looks worth cleaning out. I think there's probably some, uh, some of those. Sunset sarsaparilla bottle caps. Get this other tent. Blah, 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 blah. There's one right on the... It's hard to pick up those from third-person view because the pointer actually isn't centered. And that is everything in this place. Uh, nothing to make a campfire. But I think... We have pretty, well, we have a red dot. A small little cute baby red scorpion looking for mommy. Poking up out of the ground. Point. Of course we can't kill a small red scorpion in one shot. Or two shots. <laughs> All right, so that was just a little, um, you know, sometimes you make your own fun. Just... You get a skill book. Alright, so anyway, we were on our way to Mojave Outpost where we can... I'm sure they want to buy a bunch of red scorpion little butt parts. We can dress up. Play Roving Trader Dress Up Suit. Background? What it'll be this time is me selling you some scorpion stuff and buying some more ammo and stuff that I want. Magazines you have, blah, blah, blah. Okay, that takes care of you. 
And then here is Cass, which now that we have actually talked to the, see, we had to go talk to the criminal Looking caravan woman before we're allowed to recruit her. Otherwise, I would have pulled her out of here the first time. So now they want to buy her out. They want to buy Cassidy and caravans. Don't they know it's burned don't to they ash? Know it's burned well, it's a point of pride right. or something. Even time. And we have to go through all this, blah, blah, wait, what happened to your caravan, getting ready for our future story we're going to do here. If someone came up to you and offered you a thousand caps. happens bad to a caravan. Actually, you know what? Fuck it. I don't want to hear your answer. And she says a potty word. Point is, That's, I made the caravan. That makes us like her more. And we've got an offer here. Alice McLafferty, eh? Fair. No. Still, it's not about so the money. So we just have to kind of Dad, keep talking like a to twister. her. Keep talking to her. Are you sure? Look, I know you came all this way. Just doesn't feel right. Doesn't feel right unless you, you know, had good speech. And I think maybe the only difference here is that, like, I get more what points for the higher speech What did you just thing. say to me? So I told sure her. Because hell got my attention now. And now she's, now she's so mad she changed her mind. She's selling me the caravan. That's how you usually talk to somebody in something. Me, is like insult them, it. right? I'm not going to let go really just yet. Well, with skill and speech. If you're <sighs> speech for 75, then you too can insult Give people me that and have them agree with your position. All right. Yes. So, anyway, we'll just talk to her some more. I mean, it's actually not a bad conversation. This is, you know, no this idea. is a reasonable... Maybe... Um, I think Cass what? is a pretty fun character to, to have. And I like how she's, like, go with you. more powerful when and she's what? drunk. Like, actually gets more powerful, has a ability, and gives you the ability to be more powerful when you're drunk. I mean, you know, what? what's not to, what's hmm. not to like? Yeah, uh, so we lost. get to say a potty word to her. And she gives us the Whiskey Rose know, perk, which is the one where, the you know, whiskey works better. Yeah. Uh, specifically whiskey, not any alcohol. Specifically whiskey works specifically well, better. Well, now that I'm free of the outpost, I was wondering if you'd mind making a detour. And suddenly like she thinks of her of um, special caravans. personal quest, which is go find out, out what actually happened to her caravan, which she just sold us. Um, and so she just, you know, whatever. So now, like heartache Vegas, by the number. You're... Probably my absolute favorite um, Got word back name for a quest in this. Um, well, okay. Not quite Some... as good as Ant Misbehaving. Ant Misbehaving is the best quest name in Fallen New Vegas, but hard to find sure It's a good, it, solid, or... regular quest. Still, I'm guessing I got some of Dad's love. So, me meanwhile, Rose even though Whiskey ma is especially so powerful, it. she but knows quiet, how to make moonshine. Around. She can teach us how to make moonshine. I think it involves, like, <laughs> fission batteries or something, which is awesome. I guess maybe that powers us still. Maybe, there's, yeah. maybe that's logical. One, most of those I was thinking, like, too. the moonshine a... came out of the fission battery, which would be kind of there's usually... wackatudinal. But wait, yeah. can you do that? Get me some and can you out of the teach me? An empty bottle? A little... Why? Absolutely. Mutt fruit, mute fruit, whichever one it is. Depends on which version of the game you're playing. But anyway. Out we go, and we can take Cass with us all the way back to see her caravan. Because um, that is her special companion quest. We try to do all these companion quests. Or all the ones that are remotely cool. Um, like... Raul's is the only one I consider essentially both both totally all it is is like randomly happening to talk to people at the right time and you have to remember what order and I just can't can't be bothered and then he basically you get nothing for that um, you get no good perk, no good anything so Raul probably not going to do his quest. Try to do the other people's quests if I can manage to without screwing it up Holding my breath. feeling too at risk so, now we got to get back across this desert because we do need to get to Nipton. I see it made a little, pushed up a new crop of little baby scorpions there. You can actually hunt a lot of scorpions out in this south of the road desert, but it can get a little, uh, it can get a little dicey because there's also some geckos and there can be a whole lot of scorpions all at one time. None of those things appeal to me very much. And all there is is really basically scorpions there. Uh, there is a place down in that little trench where if you're willing to deal with some radiation, you can go get yourself combat armor. as probably the earliest combat armor you can find. It's on the far side of the trench, and I would actually recommend going in from that far side because there's a lot less radiation between you and it. But there's also a lot of golden geckos, so anyway. 
just make sure nothing. Oh, look, more ants. We just got a full load of full load of insectoid fun over here. Kill the ants. Kill the ants. Andy McAnt face. So I'm not real keen on going back to that uh going back to that little rest stop there because you know, if i actually got all the guys and how many of them respawn because things just get pretty ugly at that place i feel like i've cleared it out once and i feel no further moral obligation to ever go there again i have done my service to humanity for this character with respect to that stop Okay, so Nipton, we just we don't have to go through the main town of Nipton. We just got to find the place where the guy is. And he's up actually on a hill kind of back this way. Which does actually bring up a little bit of fun because there's some, I think there's some coyotes back here that we might as well pop along our way. They are between us and what we want to see. And they are coyotes. So they need to... Ooh, he, was, uh, he was peeking down beneath the Earth's surface there. Soon take care of that. There's their little cave over there on the right. A little red dot on the left. That's probably Daddy guarding the entrance or something. All these little cute coyote family stories, and we come along and murder them. That's just a regular coyote. We'll need no nail gun, valuable ammo. We will use mere regular machine gun ammo. Now sometimes there's like a lot of coyotes in the cave, um, and that is why God invented frag grenades. Fire in the hole! Oh, didn't even quite kill the den mother, but she's mostly killed. Just got the babies is killed. All right, that's the end of that story. I think there's just like a bright follower with some random stupid energy weapon in here. Not actually a huge amazing stash, but as we said, we're on the easy side of the world. So on we go back to the... Well, not back to, initially, for the very first time, into the place where the... Second Brotherhood Scout has been keeping an eye on Nipton. Apparently he is able to keep an eye from Nipton from a lot further away from Nipton than I can usually keep an eye on Nipton from. Uh, but he should be up here on this rock. If we can find our way up to the top of the rock and around the back, pick up all the little brock flowers. And here he is. Is the bear still Don't hunting? Don't take another step. So we talk to the guy, he says some stuff about Nipton and how the NCR didn't really keep the Legion from totally taking over Nipton, and so maybe the bears aren't hunting a super lot. Now, that is all we have to do at this end of things, but there is a fun little place with a, it's both a cool little place, and it has a cool little skill book that I want, and I feel like it shouldn't be hard to get in and get out without taking any damage. Uh, and it is called the Prospector's Den. And I just think it's, you know, it's just, it's just kind of cool. It's not, you know, it's got a, it's got a, a skill book in it. Um, and it's got a whole lot of, well, it's got a lot of the little bandit guys, whether the Jackal gang or whichever kind of gang members they are. But it's also got a bunch of dead prospectors. And the cool, so it's kind of like two-for-one bodies because the dead prospectors all have pretty good loot. So if you come, see, I come in from the back way. That's one of the, one of the secrets to Prospector's Den. If you go in the front, then there's like, they're more ready for you. The line of sights aren't as good, and there's radiation, and sometimes even the little centaur comes over from Jackrabbit Springs. But here, you got a good long line of sight. So you can, you can pick them off, and if they get too close, you can blast them or hose them. And, they're not super hard, and they pretty much can't even see me, so. Just pump them through a varmint bullet. So 
sort of have always wondered why. Well, shot her weapon off. So I guess if the comes over here, why does the varmint rifle take 556 ammo? That just is a little bit, a little odd. 556 ammo is usually for like good weapons. But sure, I'll shoot this guy like 20. This is like the scene from Saving Private Ryan level of bad shooting. About one in the knee. Oh, one in the ear. All right, finally, finally took her out with much brutality. But we can go down here. Always check for good. Oh, slasher. I might want to make a slasher just for fun. But in addition to their bodies, there's the Jackal Gang member. Grenade rifles for some reason aren't very valuable, but there's a dead prospector. See, they have all kinds of stuff. So you get all kinds of stuff off of them. Sometimes it's even really good. Now, we will go into the prospector's den. Now, we want to be properly set up. I'll go ahead and drink our drink. Read a La Fantoma. And we will just kind of get netted up just in case. I can just take these guys out without a problem, but I wanna... better safe than sorry because I got a lot of drugs. Drugs don't cause me addiction, ever. So there's a dude. Could probably toss a grenade in there, but I think I just used my last grenade. Plus, indoor grenades are a little more dicey on the point of not taking a splash damage than outdoor grenades. And, you know, I could accidentally ricochet off the... It's not like I'm a perfect throw. So you just kind of get to where one of these guys, you've got a clear line of sight, and you put one in the head. I should have used the full size. I don't know why I keep using the stupid bomber rifle for actual people. Probably a force of habit. They're walking around, but they don't know I'm here. There we go. That was not really well done. Not well done. Oh, he's coming. Ah, Jesus. Louise. Wow. This one is. Once you've already shot his weapon off, you don't care as much if he's. <laughs> it takes a couple extra shots. But now we can loot. I don't know. There's probably about like five bodies in here. The two guys we shot, and like three prospectors. So we will clean all their little goober out. Take all their good loot. Prospectors. You got plenty of good loot on a prospector here. Another prospector. Miscellaneous stuff. Let's pick it all up. It really is like kind of a two for one, two for one loot deal. Because <laughs> half these guys you don't even have to kill. Oh, this was the one I shot, but that's a prospector. And so. Now we come to this room, and this room I think is going to take place more at a machine gun range. So we're going to make sure we're ready for that. I think we're going to get into maybe a little bit of extra slashery form just to max out our chances and gun out. Okay, so we got a jackal member. Vance is all going slow, bringing up the numbers. I'm going to go head or leg. I'm usually a leg man with melee folks. I think they're all melee in here. Head and shoot your head off. I threw that first shot. I like it. Zero. That's uh, getting. <laughs> Get a little bit of extra Vats juice here something. Yep, rebound. Alright, there's a leader. That's good with a melee weapon. That's also good. 
useful if you're going to have to fight at close quarters to not have them banging away at you. So let's see. Leg, head, leg, head, head. Why not? The choice head to kill him quick or that's a shotgun. That guy is coming at me with shotgun. That is maybe not so good. Okay. So here's what unfortunately just happened. All right. So that was the last guy. And I vatched him up and I pulled the trigger and it uh, A, killed him. And I was watching his uh, death animation. It the system crashed, which happens from time to time in um, Fallen New Vegas. Uh, so I said, well, that's extra exciting, but fortunately we have autosave. And of course the autosave was uh, right here entering the very beginning of the pros Prospector's Den. So I came in again and uh, killed those two people in the outer hall like before. Again, didn't take any damage. And then I went to that part where those three guys come out of the room with the leader and stuff and the guy with the shotgun. And uh, I killed them again and didn't take any damage uh, because this time I, I, I knew he might have a shotgun. So I, having killed them both times without taking, without taking any damage, I then picked up all the wonderful loot, including the skill book, which is, you know, just all lying around in there, unlocked a few things, and then I came out here, and I got out here, and I realized that after the system crashed and it rebooted, I had not turned the recording back on, and of course then, this was... Uh, where I had just come out of the Prospector's Den with all the loot was where I had the last autosave. And so it is kind of like that footage is is lost. So I am, I am sad and mortified, but at least you got to see me basically kill everybody. You'll have to kind of take my word about the, the very last guy. Um, but he did not, in fact... I guess he didn't. Maybe he didn't even see me yet. He might have still been in caution. That's why he never, never shot that shotgun at me. In any event, here we Let's are. Let's roll out, it's Den. We got the stuff. And now we're on our way down the road. So a uh, minor technical glitch or medium-sized stupidity technical glitch. But we are now ready. And I think this is actually on that sour buggy note we are ready to bring this episode to a conclusion uh, but we have had another wonderful time in the land of fallout new vegas and we have remained undamaged for the day which brings our total still to 313 or 365 and we will see you next time when you only live once <laughs>